in the 1980s, um, we began doing settlement conferences. Mm -hmm. And the judges, uh, I was a federal magistrate judge, and the district judges would see fit to send cases to us to try to get settled. Mm -hmm. The one that comes to mind, first of all, is a case involving 305 uh, defendants and, oh and in connection with the failure of the uh, butcher banking system. Mm -hmm. These folks had taken their money out of uh, Southern Industrial Banking Corporation within 90 days of its failure. And they all, uh, the bankruptcy trustee want, wanted to take their money back. And that mm -hmm. was my first experience with a settlement conference. And I thought, gee whiz, I better get some training here. Uh -huh. And I did and uh, got training uh, at several places through the AAA and Harvard and mm -hmm. um, several places. And so for people who don't know what AAA is, it's not American Automobile Association. No. It's the American uh, Arbitration Association. Yes, excuse me, American <laughs> Arbitration Association. Uh, and then Judge Phillips and I, uh, my colleague in the court, um, were doing settlement conferences and we found that we didn't have time to get our judge work done. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the idea was born to develop a private panel of attorneys to do mm -hmm. uh, mediation. Mm -hmm. And we set up a joint committee with the Knoxville Bar Association and uh, with a lot of cooperation from the bar and from the judges within the federal court, mm -hmm. we did that and it, it still operates. It's still, there's a local rule. And mm -hmm. uh, if you're in federal court and you want to mediate, there's a panel of mediators that uh, stands ready to mediate your federal court case. And that's how I got started mm -hmm. in mediation. So between 1994 and 2002, I didn't do mediations. I uh -huh. did judge work. Uh -huh. But then when I retired, I, I again, again took it up. Mm -hmm. So I can't even imagine how 305 uh, plaintiffs, how long that court case would have taken if you hadn't gone to the, the uh, special or the uh, settlement conference. A long time. Several because, months, probably. Well, yes, because each case had its own particular facts. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, we were able to get that. I say we, uh, with a lot of help, we got that worked out. Mm -hmm. um, and in, as, as other folks have, have, have often said, when you reach a settlement, not everybody's jumping for joy, but people are glad it's done. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it's something that's, that's over and you can get on with life. Uh, but usually, no, no, it's kind of like war. It's kind of <laughs> like war because in litigation, sometimes, uh, I look at it this way, there are no winners in war and in litigation, only survivors. Right. Uh, an appellate judge put it to me one time this way. He said, sometimes I feel like I'm sitting up on a mountain and I'm looking down at this trial court and I see this horrendous battle. And when the battle's over, I go down and shoot, shoot the survivors. 